But according to the New York Daily News, several Jets players support Sanchez over Tim Tebow, the backup. In fact, one anonymous defensive starter said Tebow was terrible. Guard Matt Slauson added, I have all the confidence in Mark. We don't really have a choice. New York Daily News back page when describing Tim Tebow. One player saying he's terrible. Uh, another player quoted in the story added this on Tebow starting, quote, hell no. You got to keep defenses honest. You just can't line up in the Wildcat all the time. That won't work. Hmm. All right. I think the bigger story here is not so much about Tim Tebow, it's about anonymous players in the Jets locker room talking about a current player when you're three and six. So what's your reaction when you see quotes with anonymous players in a story? Well, you're disrespecting your head coach, a guy that you guys love playing for, and you should. I mean, he's a player's coach. He's done a fi fabulous job there in New York. They had these issues last year in the locker room. This was the big offseason, uh, you know, huddle. We're going to be better in our locker room. We're going to get good character players in there. And all of a sudden, this comes out again. You're three and six, and you're sitting in a situation now. You put the coach in, in a bad position. Because right now, the head coach is going to have to answer these questions. Along with the guy that you're ripping is a part of your team. I mean, Tim Tebow comes to work every day. Regardless if you think he can play quarterback or not, he's not coming in to meet and sleeping. He, he's probably the first there and the last lead. So he's working at his craft. The last thing you need to do as a team is start talking about Tim Tebow. You're getting questions. Should he play? I understand it. Ask him. You know, it's real easy to play. You answer the questions this way. That's up to the coaches. And this is what I would say when I brought these guys in today. Because you're going to have a meeting with your football team. Make sure, man, you put your name on it. If you got something to say about a player or a coach here, you stand before the masses and the press say, I said it. I feel better that way. So then I know that, that you probably don't need to be a part of this organization. Because we don't do this. This is, this is a team. And Tim Tebow is not the reason we're three and six by, by any stretch of the imagination. We've done a poor job coaching. We've done a poor job playing. What do we want to do from here on out? What kind of effect can this have inside the locker room? Anonymous uh, guys going to the media. First of all, it's not anonymous. It's guys just needs to put his name on it. The players know who, who, who spoke up. And you'd hopefully you got some leadership in there where they'll pull some of those guys aside and say, hey, look, man, we, we need to move on. We, we played the Rams this week. We need to try to win us a football game. Because there's seven games left. You want to finish your season out winning football games. You're still getting evaluated as a football player. Is there a concern, though, for Rex here? Because, I mean, let's, let's be honest. Mark Sanchez has stunk it up. I mean, his completion yeah, percentage play, yeah, is 52%, played very well, yeah. lowest in the league. Mm -hmm. He hasn't played well. He doesn't right. have a lot of weapons around there. Every week, though, he's asked, is Tim Tebow going to come in? Is Mark Sanchez going to go to the bench? And he's stuck with Mark Sanchez. Do you think a reason behind that is because he would lose the locker room if he went with Tim Tebow, considering the quotes we're getting right now. I, I think he would maybe, he wouldn't lose a locker room, but, but it, it would be a divided locker room if Tim Tebow became the starter. I, I feel this, with the way they struggle on offense right now, they should allow Tim Tebow a series of plays. In other words, it's a 12 possession game. Let him possess the ball in a football game, maybe three possessions. Let him run your offense through Tim Tebow and see what happens. We know this thing about Tim Tebow. The reason you brought him there, he brought energy. He brought energy to your football team. Right now, Tim Tebow's a guy that we don't even see anymore. He's on special teams. You didn't make this trade to bring Tim Tebow in there to play special teams. Mm -hmm. He's a good football player. If, if he's allowed to play football to his strengths. Now, passing is not one of his strengths. But he's a quarterback, but, but, right? But when he plays quarterback, I understand that. But they brought him there for this reason. They okay. brought him there as a specialist. He has a special skill of when he plays quarterback. It's not traditional. It's not staying in the pocket. It's moving in the pocket. It's running some. Well, if that's the reason you brought him there, use him. Well, you mentioned energy. Right now, the energy is not good in that locker room. Oh, no. They are three good. games back in the AFC East. The next up for them, the very tough Rams. Herm Edwards with us this morning on SportsCenter.